Good morning, friends. Welcome to Language Arts. I know this is a little bit different than normal, but I appreciate you guys being flexible today and working with me. Today, we are going to work a little bit more on our one and only Ivan novel study. So you have, should have read through page 50 this morning. If you have not yet read through page 50, go ahead and pause my video right now and go back into your book and read to page 50. If you're back now or if you're still with me, that means you have read through page 50, which is awesome. What we are going to do is we are going to open up a new tab on our computer. We are going to be on Google. So if you're not yet on Google, hop onto Google. Go to your waffle in the top right corner and click Drive. Once you have clicked on your Google Drive, in your Google Drive, either right up top or close by, you should see your copy of the one and only Ivan. Here is my copy of the one and only Ivan. I'm gonna open it up and it'll take me to the first page, which we worked on this on Monday. We did our character notes. I added in just a quick picture of a gorilla. So mine wouldn't be blank, but yours will have a drawing of what you think Ivan looks like. And we worked on our story setting. I did the same thing here. I just tossed in a picture of it looks like a circus tent. And that's kind of what I envision the big top mall looking like, like a big circus, like a big top mall with a big base and a huge circus top and make it make me feel like I'm going to the circus to see fun circus animals. Because the, the big top mall, they have lots of animals such as they have gorillas, they have elephants, all kinds of fun stuff. Today, you guys are going to be working on slides four, five, and six. Okay, so slides four, five, and six are the slides that you will be working on today. So we're gonna go over slide four right now. And slide four talks about the narrative, narrator of the story. Do you remember back a few months ago now, we talked about point of view. We had a little rhyme, remember? First person is me, second person is you. Third person is he, third person is she. And we're gonna answer some questions about who the narrator of our story is. So we need a little reminder on the screen. You can see we have first person point of view. A character in the story is the narrator. This character is telling the story. The narrator uses the pronouns I, me, and we. In the first person point of view, readers learn about events as the narrator learns about them. So if the narrator is learning about something happening, we're learning about it at the same time. Third person point of view, the story is told by an outside observer, someone who is not in the story. This narrator uses the pronouns he, she, and they. In third person point of view, the narrator can tell about the thoughts, actions, and feelings of all of the characters. Decide for yourself, what point of view do you think the one and only Ivan is in? Is it in first person or is it in third person? So those are our only two options, first person or third person. So first person point of view would mean that Ivan is the one telling the story. Third person point of view would mean that there is somebody outside of the story telling us about Ivan's life. So what point of view is the one and only Ivan in? First person or third person? Our second story says, who is the narrator? Who's telling us the story? Is Ivan telling us the story? Is Stella telling us the story? Is Bob telling us the story? What about Mac? Is Mac telling us the story? Or is there somebody from outside of the book telling us the story? Is it just the author telling us the story? Is there maybe just a narrator overseeing the whole story telling us? Is Goose telling us the story? As you can see, Goose would love to be involved in this. So maybe Goose is the one telling us the story. Third, what other names does the narrator have? If our narrator happens to be Ivan, are there any other names that people call Ivan? Or do they only call him Ivan? If we think back to our reading, I think I remember.
remember in the first few pages, I even mentioning that he might have some other names that friends like to call him. And what can I do if I can't quite remember? If I can't quite remember what the names are, I can go back and look at my reading, right? I can go read my book. I can flip through the pages and I can see what other names our narrator is called. And our fourth question for our narrator, where does the human or where does the narrator live? Does the narrator live in a house? Does the narrator live in an apartment? Do they live in a mall? Do they live in a cage? Do they live in a box? Do they live at the zoo? Do they live in a huge mansion? Do they live in a school? Where does our narrator live? Do they have a place to call their own? So those are four questions for slide four, the narrator of our story. Once you have finished slide four and answered these four questions, you are gonna move along to slide five. On slide five, we're talking about human habits. Ivan makes a lot of observations from, about humans from his cage. What are some habits he notices from the humans who visit the mall? What are some things that Ivan notices about these humans? Does he notice that they walk on two feet and two hands? Do they stand up straight? Do they eat a lot of food? Do they talk a lot? What are some things that Ivan notices about these humans? If you look back in our reading, there's a page where Ivan says all the things that he notices about humans. What you're going to do is you're gonna click on each box and you're gonna write down five things, five things that Ivan notices about humans. So your first one could be, remember when Ivan says that humans waste words. Humans waste words. Do you remember what Ivan meant by that? Ivan said humans waste words. Hmm. What do you think he might mean by that? Humans waste words. Let's think about that. And when we come back to class together on Monday, I want us to talk about what Ivan might have meant there about humans wasting words. So that's one observation that Ivan made about humans. What are four more observations that Ivan made? In all, you are going to have five observations from Ivan. I promise I did not mean intentionally that on slide four, you have four questions. On slide five, you have five questions. I did not plan that, but that worked out pretty well. Once you have filled out all five of your observations, then you can move on to slide six. To slide six. On slide six, it says, in Ivan's domain, he watches a few of his favorite shows. Draw three of the shows that Ivan watches and take a picture using your Chromebook. Insert the image into the TV screens below. So if you remember, when we were reading on Monday, Ivan said that he has a TV in his domain. Ivan loves to watch the TV. He said, sometimes people forget to turn it on for me. But when it is on, there were three things that Ivan likes to watch. They're not necessarily the names of shows, but more of kind of the genre or the theme of the show. I'll give you a hint. One of them I like to watch on Saturday mornings and they might have a mouse in them or they could have a goofy dog or they could have some rug rats. What kind of shows do we watch on Saturday mornings that might have some of those fun characters in them? And then there are two other kinds of shows that Ivan likes to watch in his free time. What you are going to do with these is exactly what we did for our picture of Ivan and our picture of the circus or the Big Top Mall. You are going to draw a picture of what you think Ivan shows would look like. If I were to draw my picture, and I can just do this on plain notebook paper, I'm going to draw my picture 
of one of his shows. And one of his shows, he said that he likes to watch. I'll give you a hint if you didn't pick up on my Saturday morning hint. Saturday morning, he likes to watch cartoons. He loves to watch cartoons. And so my hint when I said the mouse, I was trying to say Mickey Mouse. Or you can watch the Rugrats. Which the Rugrats were a great show when I was a kid. And remember, your drawings don't have to be perfect. In fact, my drawings are not perfect. And that's okay. Just try your best. I'm doing my drawing for my favorite cartoon as a kid. And I wonder if anybody will know what my favorite cartoon was based off of my picture. I'm going to draw my picture and it's not perfect. I can take my time on it and I can color it in, but I have my picture drawn and I'm going to insert a copy of my picture. So I'm gonna go up to the top of my slide and I'm gonna say insert image, Ooh, insert image, camera. And it will open up my camera and it'll be able to take a picture of my drawing. So here's the picture. Let's get my picture in the screen. Here's the picture of my drawing. And it might not be perfect insert it. There's the picture of my drawing. It's not quite perfect. I can make it a bit smaller. Oops, looks like maybe I got two pictures in there. Here's my cop my picture. Does anybody know what my picture is? You can see his name is on his shirt. You might even be able to see what his jar has in it. My picture is of Winnie the Pooh. Nice guesses. Winnie the Pooh and his jar of honey because Ivan likes to watch cartoons. So I have added in my picture of cartoons and you can also add in your picture of your cartoons and then add two more of the shows that Ivan likes to watch. The last part on this page says, Bob says that Westerns are nothing like real life. Why does he say this? Why does Bob say that Westerns are nothing like real life? Hmm. I think that maybe I remember that conversation in our reading and I can go back into our reading and I can look for that conversation and see where it says that Bob says Westerns are nothing like real life. And I can say why Bob says so. Once I have completed slides four, five, four, five, and six, then I am done with this activity. I am done with these slides. When we come back together on Monday, we are gonna work on reviewing the vocabulary from section one and answering section one questions that are on slides eight and nine. Slides eight and nine have some questions. If you would like to get a jump start on these and start filling in your answers, go for it. And on Monday, we're gonna review our answers together and fill these out as a class. But if you would like to get a jump start on it, go for it. Once you are done with your assignment for today, so remember your assignment for today is just slides four, five, and six please go ahead and share this document with me. So you'll share it and you'll type Sarah L at St. Helens and there I am. And you will send this over and it will get shared. And I will get an email saying that you have shared your work with me, okay? Once you have completed this activity, then you are done for language arts today. And I will see you back in a little bit for math. Bye friends, have a good day.